everyone, we are here at Bedford's. As you can see, Brill, take a good look right here when it all takes place, right here in Manteca, and right here, standing next to me, 7-0, Nick Coring, the man that's going into Global Knockout 3 versus Jamie Hara, March 21st, huge fight. The title is on the line. What's going on, man? What's up? How's it going? I am excited about this fight. I think everybody locally is excited about this fight. We're here. Man, tell, tell me how excited are you about this big up-and-coming opportunity? I'm, I'm excited about the fight. You know, it'll answer a lot, of, a lot of questions people have, you know. So I think, I think I'm uh, the best 185 around in uh, Northern California. So I'm going to go out there and uh, test it against one of the best veterans around, you know. I have nothing but respect for Jamie, but... Come March 24, or March 21st, I'm gonna have to smash him. So, now this is huge. I mean, you've you've been training with the at the Gracie Fighter Camp in Lodi. Tell us, walk us through what it's like to be training on a regular basis as often as you do. Exhausting, and uh, you know, uh, I train I train with almost all the best uh, local guys. I feel I feel like you know I got like Nick Nate Diaz, Jake Shields, Gilbert Melendez. Uh, I go up to Team Alpha Male. I train with David Mitchell. I do the wrestling class there, Lance Palmer and all those guys. And, uh, you know, I'm training with uh, all the best, I feel like. So, and you, we got guys coming in from everywhere to come train. You know, we got Yancey Medeiros. We got, like, Xavier Vigny uh, out from Antioch, uh, Matt Baker, Dan Black, all, all these different guys all coming just to work and help us. You know, Nick Pika. Guys uh, that are uh, real good, um, DJ Robertson, we go up to Sacramento sometimes, work with him, and uh, a few other people, people Mikhail Vinikov. Uh, so we're, we're working with, you know, I, uh, we work with a lot of people, you know, that are doing big things. Ryan Lang, Cron Gracie. So many names. And the list goes on and on and on. And you have to feel very confident training with such high caliber fighters. Yeah, no, it, that's, uh, I feel like, one of the big differences. You know, I'm training with guys who are, you know, some of the best in the world on a daily basis. And, uh, you know, my jiu-jitsu is good. I'm a Cesar Gracie jiu-jitsu purple belt. I box. My boxing trainer is uh, Rodney Jones. I do kickboxing, uh, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of different work, and I'm there all day. You know, I'm not, I'm not doing anything else. Uh, as soon as I leave this interview, I'm going to go train. Wow, wow, wow. So I mean, we were you were able we were able to kind of squeak in here and get that interview. Tell us how long has it been? Tell us that first day you walked into the Caesar Gracie camp and you said, "Hey man, I, I want to learn jiu-jitsu." Oh, I'd been training about two and a half years already since I've been uh, about 15 and a half and then from there I I was 18 uh when I first got there, just turned 18 and uh First day we got there, uh, my buddy, uh, me and my buddy Josh Thornburg, uh, he'd already fought a uh, Caesar Gracie guy and won. So they're like, "All right, you guys want? You guys are fighters, all right? And come here and spar, you know." So me and uh, Josh sparred with uh, Nick Diaz and Chris Quidiquid. It was like a war match, you know. They're trying to just, you know, let us know. But then after then, we were part of the team, and uh, we haven't left since. So it's been good. Now, as we get closer, how can people be able to train, or how how often? Do you get to train with all those guys? Is this a regular basis regular thing? Regular basis. Regular basis. Every day. I was just training with them last night. And how can people go train at Caesar Gracie? Where where can they go? What steps do they need to take to walk right into that school and start training? Show up at uh, 1744 West Ackerman Lodi and, uh, you know, be ready. Bring a gi or and bring some no-gi stuff. Bring sparring gear and uh, come, bring your mouthpiece. Yeah, come and come. Now tell us, how can people get tickets? How can they get involved at this global knockout number three at the Jackson Rancheria? How do we get tickets for this amazing fight? Go on jacksonrancheria.com or globalknockout.com, and uh, they got tickets online, or you could go to the Jackson Rancheria Casino and uh, get them right there. Any final thoughts for all the people that support you, Nick? Thank you for supporting me. I appreciate it. You know, it means a lot, and... Uh, Come March 21st, come watch me. Get ready to boogie. I'm I'm coming. Do not miss this fight. This is what it's all about. You got to get your tickets. If you haven't got tickets, you got to get them. You cannot miss this fight. This is what it's all about. Horror coring, titles on the line. Be there.